What's going on guys, I'm Carson, and in today's tutorial video, we're gonna be talking about the data import wizard in Salesforce. This tool can be really useful if you have a, let's say CSV file of contact data or leads or anything like that that you want to upload into your Salesforce database. Um, it's a very easy tool to uh, master, and it's extremely useful when you have a ton of data that isn't in Salesforce yet that you want to integrate within your Salesforce. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Here we go. Okay, guys, so from our home screen, we're going to go up to Setup. We're going to type in Data, oops, data Import Wizard. We're going to click that. And so we're going to click Launch Wizard. Now, right when you see uh, this screen pop up, it's going to say Import Your Data into Salesforce. Now, this is using the Data Import Wizard, which is the tool provided by Salesforce itself. So you are limited to what you can upload. So as you can see here, you can import up to 50,000 records at a time. That is the limit um, at one time. Um, and then it can you can only upload things like accounts and contacts on these objects or leads, solutions, campaign members, or some custom objects here that are provided. So without using a third party uh, tool, um, this is what you're limited to just on the data import wizard on Salesforce. If you do use a uh, third party tool to upload all the data, uh, you can do, you know, more records at a time you can do to other objects you can upload to other objects um, but when we're talking about the data import wizard these are the limits that you are restricted to so today for example we're going to be uploading a csv file of some additional contacts so once you click accounts and contacts um, it says what do you want to do so you can either add a new record update existing records or add new and update existing records. We're gonna click add new and update existing records. Um, and then we're going to match the contact by name and then match account by name and site. We're gonna leave all these checkboxes um, unchecked. If you don't know what they mean, they do have little help uh, icons here. Um, so for example, the update existing account information, this is selecting this option will update existing account information with the account data and the cor current import Leave this option deselected if you do not wish to update the existing account information. We do not wish to update it, so we're gonna leave it unchecked. Um, and then right here, these are the different types of files that you can upload. So you have the, the normal CSV file, you have an Outlook CSV, you have an ACT CSV, and then you have a Gmail CSV. Today, we're gonna to focus just on uh, regular CSV. So we're gonna choose a file, and here you can see our contacts to import CSV. Okay, values are separated by a comma. Um, we're gonna leave that selected, and then we're gonna hit next. So here you can see which are mapped and unmapped. So under the headers, you can see that we have, it's unmapped right now, under F name, first name, last name, and the cell, right? And these are the, uh, the columns and the headers of our columns. So it's saying that these are unmapped. And if we scroll over the help, it says, unmapped fields are not imported into Salesforce. Click map to map this field to an existing Salesforce field. So we do have to map these fields and then we're gonna have to choose them. So if we scroll down to contact, you can see that this is first name. So we want to map it to contact first name. So we're gonna map that, last name, we're gonna go down to contact, we're gonna find contact last name, we're gonna map it to that, and then cell, which would be the contact cell phone number. We're gonna go down to contact, we're going to find mobile, right there. So now you can see it is mapped. We have our contact email, which was already mapped, so on and so forth. So if we click next, it's going to tell us how many fields we're going to map. So we have six fields. We have zero unmapped because we mapped them ourselves. And now we're gonna start import. It says, congratulations, your import has started. Click okay to view your import status. 
So we're going to click OK. And right down here, you can see status completed. We've uh, processed 20 records. Um, and then it tells you all the detail of, of, you know, how long it took and so on and so forth. But the big thing you want to focus on right here is the status. It is completed. So now we go back to Salesforce, refresh the page, go to contacts. These are all the contacts that were updated a few seconds ago. So we can see all of the contacts that we uploaded, um, which are assigned to our account right here. So like I said, guys, uh, Data Import Wizard is an extremely beneficial tool as long as you're within those parameters set by um, Salesforce, like you know, 50,000 less um, records to upload. Um, and as long as you're only trying to upload within those certain components, um, like accounts, leads, contacts, all the basic stuff. Other than that, you would want to use third-party upload. Um, but it's extremely beneficial to use. It's quick and easy, and it goes right into it. It's easy to map if they're unmapped, um, and it's very easy to access afterwards. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys are looking to maximize your Salesforce investment, then please check out our website in the description below. Whether your business needs implementation, customization, integration, or ongoing support, we work with you to develop a tailored plan that aligns with your business goals. So click the link in the description below to schedule your free consultation and learn how we can help your business achieve success with Salesforce. Other than that, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.